Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include EU rules risk driving London Metal Exchange to Hong Kong. Bangladesh urges no harsh EU measures over factory deaths. To join the EU, Croatia may have to give up its wine. Cameron admits he won't honour an out vote in a referendum. Plus, how you begin rescuing the EU model. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the UNIT Nightly News. First, from our homepage. Companies using the London Metal Exchange say new EU rules for financial markets after the 2008 crisis may prompt it to quit Britain's capital after nearly 150 years for Hong Kong. The issue highlighted by this article is the European Market Infrastructure Regulation, EMIR, which aims to bring transparency to the derivatives markets by introducing mandatory clearing and reporting of contracts to trade repositories. I reported earlier in the week on the long arm of the European Union, which had threatened to take economic action against Bangladesh in wake of the building collapse disaster. Well, it appears that the Bangladeshi Parliament are taking the threats very seriously. This article revisits the details behind the disaster, but goes on to detail the negative effects that any economic sanction would have on the region. The Bangladeshi Commerce Minister, Mahbub Ahmed, said, If the EU or any other buyers impose any harsh trade conditions on Bangladesh, it will hurt the country's economy. Millions of workers will lose their jobs. Funnily enough, he's right. The EU has been laying out austerity sanctions on various countries in the EU bloc with exactly those results. Croatia is gearing up to celebrate its entry into the EU. But don't pop the corks just yet. A heated trademark battle over the country's beloved sweet dessert wine has some feeling less than bubbly, mirroring rapidly declining enthusiasm among Croats for membership in the economically battered bloc. The EU has ruled that once the Balkan country becomes its 28th member on July the 1st, Prosec can no longer be sold under that name across the EU, even at home. It maintains that Prosec's name is too similar to Prosecco, Italy's sparkling beverage. It's not just Prosec that's in trouble of disappearing. EU member Slovenia claims Croatia has no right to market Taran, a red wine made in the northern tip of the Adriatic shared by Italy, Slovenia and Croatia. All serious stuff, I have no doubt, but wait until the EU IMF bankster bureaucrats rock up with their tantalising economic stimulus package. Well, he's back in the news again today. Chairman Cameron, our delinquent Tory Democrat, has been out schmoozing round Spain. Feeling safe and hidden by the Spanish language, Top Dog DC answered the following question. In case of a yes victory in the referendum that will organise on leaving the EU, would you be willing to withdraw from the Union? To which Don Cameroni replied, No me gustaria. Failing to realise the intellectual superiority of an eight-year-old with an internet connection and Google Translate, Signor Cameroni's reply actually translates to, I would not. Coupled with yesterday's report on DC's unconstitutional referendum bill smokescreen, I think this puts the cherry on the cake, don't you? The Eurozone crisis has unleashed a string of buzzwords from rating downgrade to Grexit, referring to Greece's potential exit from the zone. This article drills deeply into the crisis and considers the merits of the Eurozone as a social, economic and political project. Saying, as calm eventually returns for Cyprus and even sooner for Greece, citizens and investors alike will realise they are better off inside the Eurozone than outside. Exiting the Eurozone would have confined them to permanent low growth before, during and after the crisis. Now, I can't say that I agree with many aspects of this article, but it is good to see a facts-based pro-Europe news coming out in the press to help balance the debate. Today in our video library, as you know, we have written and produced a new documentary, Betrayed, which we have submitted to the Operation Paul Revere contest at Infowars.com. 
We thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the other videos that have been produced. And so throughout the month of May, I will pick out a daily Operation Paul Revere contest entry and provide a link to it on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, you could really help us a great deal with our documentary and contest entry by subscribing to our channel, rating our film Betrayed, either like or dislike, but I'd prefer like please, and most importantly sharing it with as many people as you possibly can. So without further ado, today's video which I have added to our Operation Paul Revere YouTube playlist is The City Police by Jerry Rodriguez. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website, theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there, and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus at any time. Are you looking for a public speaker for your event? Our public speakers are happy to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area at no cost. If you would like to add interest and value to your group event, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Join us in our live Question Time style online show, The Unit Interactive, broadcast live on our website, theunit.com, and globally via thehangoutshow.com. Join our community on Google+, and you can be part of the wider public voice, united in freedom, liberty, and independence. Simply join our community, the unit on Google+, links to the community page are below.